Hello. Hello and welcome at the Odoo experience. So today I have the pleasure to present you the new Odoo IoT box. So during this talk, I will first explain what is IoT and why this is an opportunity for your business that you shouldn't miss. Then we will see how to connect the IoT box to your Odoo database in just four easy steps. After that, a live demo of uh, the IoT box will follow, and I will end up with a wrap-up. If we have some time left, there will also be a Q&A session at the end. Of all the emerging technologies, IoT is projected to have the biggest impact on the industrial economy, according to a recent Forbes study. What is IoT? It refers to the fact of connecting smart objects to the internet. Today, we have eating systems that we control through our smartphones. We also have smart fridges that are connected to the internet. There are many examples of IoT in our everyday lives. And today, we will focus on the impact of IoT on the business life. At Odoo, we do believe that IoT will have a big impact on the business's future. It's not just a buzzword for us, and that's why we decided to invest in that technology. What are the main benefits of IoT? Why is it an opportunity for your business that you shouldn't miss? There are three main interests of using connected devices. First, a higher productivity. You can get more things done in less time thanks to the use of connected devices. Then, the increased quality of some of your processes as machines are better at some tasks than humans are. And finally, you can collect more data, and data of very good quality that are uh, taken in real time and that can be shared immediately across the entire company. The interest of having those good data is to take better decisions in the company thanks to better information. Okay, you may not be uh, convinced that IoT could be interesting for your business, but the question is, why should you use Odoo for that? Because with Odoo, the IoT technology is really integrated to your business flows. We are not just collecting data that you then have to transfer into another system. We are not adding extra steps to your current work. No, IoT will really be part uh, of your day-to-day -day business and day-to-day -day activities. So let's have a look at the new Odoo IoT box. It's a small box like this one uh, that contains a Raspberry Pi. So it's a tiny computer that will allow the communication between your database and the different devices that I have here. So the box will be connected to your database using an Ethernet cable or with Wi-Fi connection. And as you can see uh, on the picture behind me, you can have several IoT boxes connected to a single database. Then you will have to connect the devices uh, to the box, and this can be done with USB, Bluetooth, HDMI, or with Wi-Fi. So the first step in uh, installing the IoT in your own Odoo database is to connect the devices to the box. And you can see here that on the table, I have a, a small IoT installation with some devices connected. So if there is already a driver that exists to connect your specific device to the box, then the next steps are really easy. If you are using USB or HDMI uh, devices, you just have to plug the cables into the box. If you are using Bluetooth, you have to make sure uh, that it is active on your device before starting the box so that it will be able to be detected by the IoT box. And if you are using Wi-Fi, you have to make sure that you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network so the device and the box both on the same Wi-Fi network. If there is no driver yet for your specific device, then no problem. You can still contact us and we develop driver for a fixed price. Uh, so don't hesitate to come uh, at the demo booth and we will discuss that uh, with you. So now that I have my different devices, I have plugged all the cables uh, into the box. Uh, the Bluetooth is active on my device. The, the devices are connected to the Wi-Fi. The next step is to connect the box to my database. And for that, it's quite easy. I first have to power on the box and then go back on my database where I will install the IoT box application. Then in the IoT boxes menu, I have a big button connect that I can click. Then I have two options. If my box is connected with an Ethernet cable, and it's the case here, I will just have to click on scan and uh, the database will find the box and connect to it. And that's already done. The IoT box is already connected to my database and the devices too. If I'm using Wi-Fi, it's not complicated neither. I will receive a token from Odoo that I will have to copy. 
Then I will see in my available networks that there is one called IoT Box, and I can connect to that network. Then I will be redirected to the IoT Box homepage, where I can paste the token from the box. And I can also choose uh, the Wi-Fi that I want to connect with and enter the password if there is one. And that's it, my box is already connected to my database. So the next step now is to switch to the live demonstration of the IoT Box in action. So I will go on my Odoo database. So you can see here that we have a completely new application called IoT, and I will enter in that application. And I have two menus, so nothing complicated here. I have one with the IoT boxes, and you can see the IoT box that is connected to my database, and one with the different devices that are connected to my database. So I have a camera that is here. I have a foot switch uh, just there. Um, I have also a caliper that works in USB. Uh, I have also uh, so the Zebra printer, and uh, I have another uh, USB caliper that is somewhere, I don't know exactly where. I think that it's at our demo booth, but I'm not sure. OK, so now that I have all uh, the devices, the next step is to link them to some specific actions in my Odoo database. So for example, I have to do some uh, quality controls. So I will go on my quality control points. When I'm uh, assembling my table, I have to take the measure of the legs. Uh, so I will go on that quality control point, and you see that there is a new field that appears in Odoo version 12 called device. And on that field, I can choose the device I want to use to take that measure. In my case, it will be the caliper in USB. So I save. Uh, I also have to print uh, the serial number of my finished product. So I will go on that step, and I will link it to my Zebra printer. It prints directly sticky labels. So I select my Zebra printer. And I also have uh, quality control points that consist of taking a picture of the serial number that I've printed. And I will link it to my webcam that is just there. There is one more thing that I would like to show you that is more specific for the printer. So I will go back on my device and open the printer that is here. So you see that it is linked to my quality control point. That's what I've just done. But for the printer, there is also another option. I can link it directly to any report that exists in Odoo. So these are all the reports that I can print from Odoo. If I link them to my Zebra printer, each time that I will print this report from the database, it will directly be sent to the right printer. So I could, for example, link it with the product label filter uh, print, uh, report, sorry, this one. There is one last thing that I would like to do. Uh, on my manufacturing line, on the assembly line number one, I would like to be able to use the foot switch to go from one step to the other. So I will go in the settings on my, of my work order. I will add the foot switch here. And there, I have to enter the key. In fact, the foot switch is working exactly like a keyboard. So each time that I'm pressing on it, it sends back a character. And uh, for my uh, foot switch, I know that it is a B. So I will enter the B as character. If you don't know uh, which character is sent back from your foot switch, you can connect it direct to your computer, press on it, and you will see what information is sent from the foot switch. And I would like to link it with the action called next. So instead of clicking on next on my work order assembly line one, I will be able to directly use the foot switch that is just there. OK, so now I think that I've linked all my devices to specific actions, so I can uh, start by uh, building my table. So I will create a manufacturing order for that table. Here. And I will click on Plan. And you see now, in my assembly line number one, I have some work orders to do. So I will open that work order. And you see that the first step is to take a measure. And just uh, below the name and the instruction for that step, I see the device that I should be uh, using. So here, I will use the caliper that I have just there. I'm taking a measure. I block it. And then in my database, I click on Take Measure. And I have 69.13. And I don't know if you can see there. Maybe it's too really too small. <laughs> OK, do you believe me, or do I need someone <laughs> to? <laughs> That's OK? OK, thanks. OK, so now I have the measure that is taken. So I don't need to have a look at the measure, then type it in my database with the risk of mistake. 
the information is directly sent back to the database. So I will validate that measure. Now I have some instructions. They are asking me to take a specific screwdriver, so I would like to be able to use my both ends to do uh, that work and to assemble my table. So as I've linked the foot switch that is just there to the button next, I will click on it, and it goes directly to the next step. Again, maybe I need someone to prove that it's true. I, so my hands are here, I'm not touching the screen. I click on the pedal and again, it sends me directly uh, to, the next, uh, to the next step. Okay, next thing that I have to do with my work order is to print uh, the serial number. So I will assign a serial number to my table and now I will click on print label. And now I just have the label for my specific product. So if you've seen it, it was the number 12, so maybe you can confirm that it's the correct one. That's okay. Perfect, great. <laughs> okay, and for the last step, I will need you to uh, participate a bit as I will uh, be taking a picture, so please smile. Ready? Okay, I'm clicking on the take picture, and the picture is directly taken from there. Ah, we don't see anything with the light. So bad. Okay, we will try again. <laughs> okay, so here again, I just do one click in my database, the picture is taken from the camera and sent back and uploaded on the database. I don't have to take the camera, upload the picture on the database, upload it on the quality check and then save. And now I can close my work order, I'm done. I've used the four devices that are connected to my IoT box. So just uh, as a summary, I would like to remind you what I've used here. So I've used first the caliper for the quality control that is taking measure and that sends back the information directly on my uh, quality control points. It allows me to gain time, but also to have fewer encoding mistakes by typing the value that is sent back uh, by the tool. I've also used the foot switch that allows me to use my hands to assemble the table and to go directly from one step to the other. I've used the zebra printer to print the label of the serial number in just one click. And I've used the camera to take picture again. Uh, that's again in time and that's super easy to use for the worker, just one click. Nothing more complicated than what they were doing previously. And these are only a few things that are currently possible with the IoT box, uh, mainly focused on the industry 4.0 and on the manufacturing application but there will be more uh, things to come in the future. Uh, we can think, for example, of linking the IoT box uh, to the stock of some of your consumable products. Let's imagine that you have a stock of oil and you don't record the consumption of that product because it's taking a lot of time. You could, for example, link uh, the IoT box to a probe or to a scale to know exactly how much you have in stock at any moment, but also to trigger the reordering process at any time. And we can also think about linking the IoT box to a badging system uh, so that we can record the attendances of the employees but also of participants to specific events. The possibilities here are really endless. We are only at the beginning of uh, this new application in Odoo. Let's come back to concrete stuff. So what's the pricing for that, that box? So it's in the form of a subscription of 25 euro per box and per month. It's an enterprise feature. And if you need a specific driver to connect a specific device to the box, uh, it can be done for a fixed price of 3,000 euros. Okay, it's time to come to the end of this presentation, and I would like to conclude on this. So IoT is a great opportunity, but it can be also a big challenge for your company. It can become really complex to connect uh, some devices to your software, then to make them uh, be used by your employees. That can really become a nightmare. So that's why at, at Odoo, we spend a lot of time to make sure that the configuration and the usage of the box would be really easy. Even non-technical users should be able to connect the box, link it to some step, and use it. And by a very good integration between the IoT box and your current business flows, but also with the business applications that already exist in your Odoo database. If you want to know more about the IoT box, there will be two other talks. Uh, one that is more technical on Friday at 10.10 10, uh, about the IoT box and the cloud, and another one about the configuration and the upgrade of the IoT box on Friday at 11.45. Uh, 
And there is also a demo booth during the entire Odoo experience, so you can go there, ask a question, ask for a live demo. Uh, if you are a partner and you want to collaborate with us, you have any ideas, uh, don't hesitate to come there. Uh, and I would like also to thank uh, Mekatis and Factory5 because they, uh, they gave us uh, the different tools that we have used here, so they are available on the Factory5 uh, platform if you want to have a look at this. Thank you for your attention.